you guys like the Dragon Ball content that I provide on this channel, then make sure you guys punch that subscribe button with notifications enabled to be the first to receive all the latest in Dragon Ball content and be a part of the Dragon Ball squad. And also, don't forget to follow me on these social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to stay connected with me at all times. Hashtag Dragon Ball squad. Thank you so very much for your support. Now let's begin. As the Tournament of Power begins to wind on down, we have some brand new information from Herms98 on Twitter, courtesy of VJump Magazine, which reveals some compelling and interesting information, which is looking to possibly be revealed at the finale of the Tournament of Power in connection to Goku's Ultra Instinct form. As according to Herms98 on Twitter, the next issue of VJump Magazine will debut Toriyama's design for the completed Ultra Instinct Goku, who in which will apparently have silver hair. And alongside Goku's new apparent hair change, we also have the confirmation of Broly and Bardock coming to Dragon Ball Fighters in the form of DLC, in which will also feature Super Saiyan Bardock as a part of his move called Revenger Assault, which will showcase Bardock going into his Super Saiyan form momentarily as he uses the attack. Now, I do want to go in ahead and share my thoughts for Goku's completed Ultra Instinct design, as this goes back even way before the beginning of the Goku Black arc as I remember Toriyama conducted an interview where he actually planned on introducing a white-haired concept, but he felt as if at the time, if Toriyama wanted to adapt this white-haired concept, it would go against the antagonist, which at the time ended up being Zamasu. So over time, it looks like the completed version of Ultra Instinct Goku, mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, just may in fact be silver. Now, I don't know how I feel about this again, there is no official scan or picture being leaked as of this recording to show us this, but you can only imagine as to how Goku is going to look in terms of matching hair design with his eyes and that being silver. So what I want to know from you guys is what are your overall thoughts on Goku apparently having silver hair? This could be in the form of the anime, it could be in the form of the manga. I wouldn't see as to why they wouldn't include this in the anime. Given the fact that Dragon Ball Super is concluding within the next couple of weeks, it only makes sense for them to give Goku this hair and seeing where it goes from there, especially with Goku, according to the spoilers that we've gotten, is going to master Ultra Instinct as he fights Jiren. So with that being said, expect to see brand new scans, expect to see brand new images being leaked within the next couple of weeks, and you guys can find those on this channel and alongside my Twitter, so make sure you guys follow me on both platforms to be up to date with all latest in content. Now in terms of Broly and Bardock, we have no additional information as to when Bardock and Broly are going to be released, but they are coming in the form of fighters as playable characters, so expect to play as Bardock and Broly sometime in the near future. Now, also in pertains to video games, it looks like according to Herms, people in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 will have the opportunity to not only be able to use Android 21's clothing and accessories, but over time, it looks like you will also be able to play as Ultra Instinct Goku in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, alongside an extra scenario area where you can cooperate with Fu to either fix or alter time. Now, in case you guys don't know, Fu is the child of Mira and Toa. We've seen scans of him before in Xenoverse 2, and now it looks like to our surprise, since Jiren is going to be more or less involved in Xenoverse 2, we're also going to have the opportunity to also play as Ultra Instinct Goku. Now, again, for Ultra Instinct Goku, there is no information as to which DLC he's going to be a part of, if he's going to be a free character, if he's going to to come in the form of a payable DLC where he might be included in DLC 7. There is no official information as to where he's going to be placed and if he's going to come in the form of DLC pack 6, but nevertheless, Ultra Instant Goku will be accessible in Xenoverse 2 once again sometime in the near future. Now also as we know, we have brand new scans for Dragon Ball Super Episode 128, but according to Govita XV on Twitter, we also have a brief little summary as to what's expected to happen in the upcoming episode. Episode, as the following translations from Govita XV on Twitter goes as follows, Vegeta is barely standing, he can't even go Super Saiyan, but his will never disappears. With some harsh talk, Vegeta rushes towards Jiren, his attacks got defeated easily, and instead it got 
a counter. He still keeps on moving forward. Krillin and the others watch over with a grief look. Vegeta beaten many times and nearly falls out of the arena, but he gets stuck in the debris and was suspended in midair. And with nearly half conscious, Vegeta listens to the voice of Bulma. So the episode title suggests that Vegeta will fall, but according to these translations from Govita, it looks like he does get stuck in between some debris, and judging based on his condition, he can barely even go Super Saiyan, but it's his willpower that allows Vegeta to continue the fight, but despite what he does, he seems to fail over and over again. So with that being said, we don't know as to how long Vegeta has until he actually falls out of the ring, but in that same episode, as I stated in my previous video, Goku will be going into Ultra Instinct and he will be fighting Jiren. So during Dragon Ball Super Episode 128, expect to see Goku full on fight Jiren while under Ultra Instinct. But at that given point, while Vegeta is down, he's going to be hearing the voice of Bulma and perhaps maybe he's going to think about her and reminisce on his family before something happens to him. So alongside with this, we also have, according to Govita XV on Twitter, the official V Jump translation for Dragon Ball Z. Universe 2's Migate no Gokui edition, as it goes on to state Goku, Migate no Gokui, special moves added, and one of the moves added for Ultra Instant Goku in Xenoverse 2 is going to be called Accelerated Fighting Spirit, and his ultimate technique is going to be something called God Super Dance, so expect to see that be included in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, as we are going to get a visual scan for the fully mastered Migate no Gokui as well, which obviously connects to the anime, so post your comments down below guys i would like to know what your thoughts are for broly and bardock being added in dragon ball fighters for ultra instant goku having to be added in dragon ball Universe 2 because that game is going to be getting lots of dlc this year so if you guys are looking forward to playing more dragon ball Universe 2 expect to see more dlc drop for that game as well and as for the anime portrayal with goku's white hair it's a bit conflicting because once again that will be counted as another form. That would be counted as another transformation per se because now we see him with black hair and at some point during the finale of the tournament, it's very likely for him to have silver hair as we reach the closing moments of the Tournament of Power, which again, counts for another look. So with all of the looks Goku's had with Super Saiyans 1, 2, 3, we had Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken, Migate no Goku, the Ultra Instinct Transformation, Ultra Instinct Omen, and now we're gonna be getting this and what's weird is we saw bits and pieces of Dragon Ball Heroes how it foreshadowed a silverish grayish Goku so his hair isn't white but instead silverish gray so it doesn't more or less look like Super Saiyan white or Super Saiyan 5 per se or it's just white in nature it is going to have its own unique feel at least for only Goku for the most part now we don't really know as to when exactly this is going to happen but what I want to know from you guys is what are your overall thoughts on seeing Goku with silver hair to match his eyes how different is he going to be perhaps maybe this is going to be alluding to the poster that we saw in the summer and the recent poster that we saw in japan with goku having to be kind of like made out to be like a silhouette in the background we see that he looks different and we don't really know as to how different or how powerful he's going to be once he quote on masters this kind of ability and power but even if that's the case this has been foreshadowed now for quite some time because toriyama always wanted to do this dating his interview back all the way to 2016 how he was thinking about incorporating this and if this ends up being true and we do end up getting a silver grayish haired goku for the finale of this tournament then you can count that as the final form of what a master ultra instinct is supposed to look like but i want to know from you guys if you guys agree or disagree with this concept and for the upcoming Dragon Ball Super manga We are going to be getting manga scans for Dragon Ball Super's newest manga later on this week So make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel to find out what exactly is going to be going down Because for the upcoming manga chapter We are going to have the beginning of the tournament of power as in the last chapter We left off with everyone heading out into the world of void and now it looks like for the upcoming manga chapter The tournament is going to begin so post your comments down below guys what are you guys most excited for for dragon ball fighters dragon ball xenoverse for dragon ball super for the upcoming manga chapter thank you all so much for watching guys once again if you guys are hyped then smash that like button guys tune back in for more i cannot wait to see how this is going to end 
because with all the hype surrounding Super, we don't know if this is going to end on a cliffhanger. What I'm most excited for is Dragon Ball Fighters and seeing what we're going to be doing in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So lots to expect there. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Once again, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Cue my outro, bitch. <laughs>